Hello, welcome back to yet another Bristol Chess Times episode. How you doing, Mike? I'm good, thanks. Uh, it's Monday something, something, something. It's, it's been a week since our last video. Um, uh, and what today what we want to do is give a little shout out and a showcase to North Bristol Chess Club in the Bristol District Chess League. We've got a lovely little miniature, 19 mover today from the North Bristol Club Championship. Uh, Mike, you haven't seen the game yet, have you? No, nope, not at all. Uh, so it's been submitted by Walid Khan, who uh, unfortunately doesn't play for North Bristol um, anymore. He's had to, he's had to move, move back home. But um, this was played over the summer and is a, I think a really nice example that I want to show you today of some uh, kind of classic uh, mistakes being made in the opening, which then ultimately get punished. Cool. So um, okay. without further ado, let's, let's dive in. So it's a French, Mike. What are your thoughts on the French? Um, it's Walid. White. Walid, sorry, yes, I should, I should give a bit more context. <laughs> Walid, is, Walid is white. Um, I'm just trying to think what, what rating Walid is. I think he's 1700, 1750, mm. maybe just under 1800. Well, like given that Walid sent this in, I'm guessing he doesn't lose, so I'm going to say the French is unsound based on, on one well, You game. heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The French is categorically unsound. Uh, so, E4, E6, all standard opening moves. Obviously, one of the things that a lot of amateur players hate uh, to see as black, um, but a lot of amateur white players often do, yes. is the exchange. exchange. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, uh, I mean, I've heard a lot of people rubbish the French, but then a lot of good players actually play it. So, um, I personally avoid the complications. I don't play d4. Um, what do you play? I, I'll keep it a secret for now. Oh, okay. It's my own kind of... Concoction. Mike's, Mike's um, homebrew will be, will be visiting the channel in the future. Yeah. Um, and there are just a lot of um, very nuanced lines. Uh, I, I know there's like the winnower and then there's this, this kind of crazy queen g4 variations where both sides can sack a pawn. And yeah, I guess it's, it's a complicated opening. So I think basically know what you're doing if you're going to play it. And I, I don't know, I mean, I haven't spoken to Willie in depth over this, but I did love the fact, I, as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh no, are we going to go into an exchange? Mm -hmm. No, he, he goes but, for the advance, yeah, okay, cool. so I'm pleased. So did we get a c5? We, we don't, and this is, this is, black now adopts a plan, um, which even, what move are we on now here, move three, mm. which I'm, I think has been played before, but I've never really seen. Um, and, and, but I do believe it's the beginning of where black starts to go wrong, because mm -hmm. it's quite a slow plan, in my opinion. Okay. Um, right, yeah. Now, I was wondering here, okay, often we know with the French that black is wondering what to do with his white squared bishop, um, because it's normally locked inside the pawn chain. Um, and what we see here is we'll lead just develop normally, and then this rather provocative bishop a6 move, which is this reminiscent looks, of another defence called the Guatemala. <laughs> it's reminiscent of um, one of one of my games, really. Oh, is it? <clears throat> well, we you know we, we played this knight a six in, in, in quite a few black openings. Yeah. Um, this is the kind of way to get their supports to c five push, but it is a bit slow. It is a little say, slow, so. but is it? Uh, it's not necessarily unsound. I mean, we looked in the no, database; it's, it's bit, been played okay. about about six seven times. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so it's a rare line, and yeah. I suppose. Black player just wants to decide. I want. I want a solution to my white bishop straight away. So, we'll lead exchanges off. Um, obviously, everybody's going to lose the right to castle if he does nothing about it. And then, why I like Willie's approach to this to this whole game and, and White's approach um, is he just plays now the very calm c3. I don't know whether he was overly scared by knight hopping into b4. I didn't really feel it was going to be a huge threat because black is so yeah. underdeveloped. Yeah, was that just preparing for a c5 and, and just protecting the d4 pawn? Yeah, I mean, Meanwhile, white is can... solid. Well, white is developing here. And I suppose that's my concern is that the knight on a6 looks a little odd to me now. It doesn't have any squares. Well, it's the only um, piece that black's got developed. Do you disagree? Well, hang on. The the bishops is, is the important, important thing here. And... Um, Black ha has got rid of that uh, light square bishop, so it just depends what white can do with the bishop he's got left. Because that's on the same colour square as all the pawns now, so you have to find some way of. Maybe it's not as. I, I was being a little bit critical of black's play here. Well, maybe it's, it maybe depends it's what he can thing. do with it. So, does is there a castle king side here? 
there, in white. Well, you'll, you, yes, you'll, wait, you'll, you'll see now. But, but why I'm critical, I suppose, because I've looked at the game ahead, is, is the next move played by black is to push the knight back onto b8. <laughs> okay, right. Not c5. Which, again, you know, classic opening principles, develop all your pieces, try to control the centre. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just not convinced that black has the time to do this yeah. manoeuvre. Um, you need to be really confident to do a knight manoeuvre, especially this early. Exactly, and, yeah, I, and I think this is what back this maneuver. is what what the white player now really capitalises on because it, white here to me the diff the reason white wins this game and we're not going to you know to spoil the surprise white wins <laughs> is I feel that white adheres to very sound opening principles and what you're seeing in today's game is when one player does that and another doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's go on. So again, this move seems slow to me for black because he's blocking in the dark squared bishop, um, although maybe they're looking at something like the f5 square for the knight. And um, Black has to either push the c pawn or the possibly the f pawn, and French players don't like to push the f pawn um, unless they're really sure. But um, yeah, c5... This move and the move before should have been. Nice yeah, plan. it's 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 just too slow for me. Um, so again, White jumps on the chance to to cause some frustration here by pinning the knight, um, which is again going to slow Black down. So Black nudges the queen up. Um, we love a good queen nudge here at the Bristol Chess Times, um, and White just continues to develop. Eventually, the c5 push comes in. So good to see. Um, but Walid then is a bit provocative by pushing mm. the c4 pawn and saying, well, what is going to happen in the centre? Whatever happens, I feel that the white player here is, 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 is playing in a great way because he's giving options, he's making black make decisions, black is underdeveloped, and his, their king is in the centre. That's an interesting move there, actually. I, mm. When he played c3, I didn't expect that to, to move again. I thought that was just pr protective, but... Um, but white has time, see, right? Cause, I cause... guess so, yeah. And and the knight and e or d two might be coming into d six because you're making way for the uh, the entry squares there, and um, that could be annoying. Yeah, that could be a check. It, 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 it is, it is interesting. Mate. And um, so black exchanges. Okay. C takes d. The knight hops in, and then again another relatively slow move to me. Although I can mm. understand that they. That white is threatening to hop into b5 and then oh, d6. Okay. So that that's the, the route that they want to yeah. go in. So yeah, maybe black has to play a6. Maybe, but as I said, and the other knight could um, could land there. Let's say exchange on d5, um, and you, you either have this isolated pawn if you recapture the pawn, or you have um, or you just allow the knight to come into d6. I think black should have admitted that. That's a possibility, a knight on d6, and just prepare to deal with it. Yeah, for, than stop for, it. for me, where white is still three moves away from castling, and all like you know, black. Yeah, oh, sorry, black. Yeah. Black is still three moves away yeah. from castling, um, and this to me is the fundamental problem with what black experiences in this game. So how did that bishop get out? Let's let's see. Good okay. move. Good move. Nice. Um, opening up the c file at some point. Um, again, not sure what Black is scared of, of here. This seems like a yet another move with a piece that's already developed. Um, can you see what the threat was? Have we missed something? I, th I think maybe it's just wanting the knights to come to that square, to d7. Right, so yeah, freeing up, freeing up the square, know. yeah, okay. Well, I think, to be honest with you, from this, this is probably the move which ultimately loses, because... I feel from this point on, white just gets their initiative just starts rolling, mm -hmm. and and really now this is probably the fourth move that black has played. It's one move twelve, and I think four of those moves have been quite slow, um, and now white with all of this time and all the tempo really starts to charge ahead. So okay. lead start, right. Good. starts Good. the attack. Um, mm -hmm. There we go, hopping straight in lap exactly like you said, Mike. Um, and it's quite nice. The white's plan is quite easy to play, isn't it? There's quite a few options for white, but then they're, mm. they're not too hard to find, um, which is which is a sign of a good opening for, for that white has played here. Um, bishop up, obviously. Maybe king takes. 
Uh, king is now stuck in centre. Yeah, well, if queen takes or knight takes, then knight d6 check was... Let's look at that, shall we? Well, just briefly. Yeah, so let's just... Why, why well. the king has to take, so... So the king has to move anyway, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, white, uh, black is losing the right to and castle. And got the rook. Um, either way, if the knight takes. So you may as well keep the king in the centre. Yeah. Treat the king as a developed piece and help the king draw his broadsword yeah. and fight back the horse. Yeah, I mean, even with the white queen still on board, you, that's what you've got to do. You've got to try. Yeah. So, um, but it's it's. I'll be honest with you. I think I feel that, that white's attack is getting incredibly ferocious here. So yeah, it's just a knight in constriction, isn't it? Where's the queen going? Queen coming in. You've got the open C file. Um, F four. Nice move from Willie. Very provocative. Um, and this is, a, I think, a good point, point to stop because, you know, I don't know what the rating of, of black player is here, but in anti chess we see this a lot where uh, there's a temptation, right? So, so, so white is saying, hey, do you, fancy, do you fancy the exchange? But really, does black, given how underdeveloped they are, this is for me a good example of material versus time and dynamic factors within chess. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't believe and I'm sure that, that the white player was confident um, that, that black has time to, to hop the knight oh, into 93, E3. sorry, yeah, of course. Um, you know, there's a raging attack coming in on the black king, mm. and maybe you could argue that, that counter-attacking is, is sometimes the best form of defence. I just don't think that the, the time is there in no. this instance. Especially um, given that you know, once the knight is on F1, it's not attacking anything. So exactly. actually you don't even need to retake it. So, so that's two moves for black. Which gives White two moves to attack the king, which is yet more tempo, yet more time. Obviously, um, worth a rook. I'd yeah. say if you give White three. But Black goes for it. You see, and this this okay. this, this is I think the no, final nail in the coffin. I, there's um, lots of interesting squares for the, for the queen. I mean, I I would look at coming to h five or um, or to g four, but you can't now. Or b three is interesting. And then f f five would be quite powerful. Yeah, I mean, because who cares about the seven. F1 rook, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think you, 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 it's been nice. You haven't seen this game, but no. really you found all of White's moves quite quickly, um, which is a sign of your natural talent, Michael, but also um, how nice the, the plan is natural, for White yeah. to play. It's very natural. Yeah. Um, and like you say, yeah, this immediate like threat on away. F7. Yeah. Um, and when, so when the knight's so close to the king... Um, the, the queen coming in with checks is just so powerful, and you've seen this in one of your games that you showed, where you had the queen and knight harassing until your opponent made a mistake. And um, so if you think of a queen h4 check, something like that, um, where does the king go? The knight just really conveniently covers all the squares that the, the queen isn't. Um, and then you have like a kind of queen, uh, a rook c8 check as well. Is looking really there's, dangerous. there's just loads going on here, so is it right? so and the, f7 is is the threat now yep. to go g6 yeah so black responds with g6 yeah. um and the game actually finished here wow um, what, in one move in one move on. well what so, black resigned to be fair it's, there's not a, there's not a mate immediately but, but it's um, a powerful enough move um if oh, okay so you've got f6 now so f6 is now weak so queen h4 check king f8 Rook c8, king g7, queen f6. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it wasn't quite queen it was queen g5, same difference. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. it, and actually now here, black is completely lost. Um, black resigned. Um, and again, just to point out the point about materialism, black never did it's, get that yeah, exactly. time to take that rook yeah, on it's, one. It's, um, it's surprising. Um, but, it, but that sort of thing often happens, even if the knight was on f1. Who cares? Who cares? Right? There's, there's, no, there's no backup yeah. for it. Okay, so you're the exchange up. For me, this is just a, you know a really nice example game, particularly at amateur level of just time. Yeah, I'd say I mean, always look at the resulting position. If if um, if you see a game like this finishes fairly quickly, there's almost always a development problem still there. So, black kind of changed plan quite a few times about how he was going to develop. Yeah, and a lot of queenside cover, moves, small queenside moves. Yeah, tried to just cover some some um, threats with these with these pawn moves as well, and ultimately the knight didn't move, which meant the rook didn't move. Yeah. The other rook's not. Well, in the, the, game. the knight on b8, for example, it's it's moved to a6, it's moved back to b8. Yeah. 
then the queen has moved twice to try and give that knight a square. Yeah. And ultimately, by the end of the game, the knight is on its starting location. Yeah. Well, I, uh, it's a nice example, actually, because the knight did that because of that bishop problem. So that it's a classic kind of problem that black has in the French, of what to do with that bishop on c8. Um, but just because black's dealt with that, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have other problems, problems are over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So don't stick to, to, to the kind of principles. I think, I think we should give point. credit to White as well here. White jumped on their chance, didn't they? As soon as, exactly, as, yeah. soon as White realised that, that Black was going to be very slow, um, they've really launched a lovely attack. And let, just to give White credit, let's we just find that there's probably multiple lines here which um, allow uh, Black to be, uh, White to be victorious. Um, the King has one square, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got to give up the Queen. Or it's, and I think the yeah, simplest, to be fair, you... You can either go seize f6, hitting the rook, is, is one option. Um, that's probably nicer, actually. That's yeah. probably nicer. <laughs> or just a brutalistic take the uh, take the spice from the king um, is is rook, yeah. rook c8, and, and black is forced really to give up. Um, is he? Yes. He, well, king g7, king, six, king h6. You, you're probably looking for the, the kind of um, a, a, glory, the most a glory mate. mate yeah. um, but I mean, yeah, we're just winning a, a, a sure. rook. Yeah. So, um, well played to Waleed, thanks for sending the game in. Um, hopefully everybody found this an instructive game to look at. As we said, it's from uh, the North Bristol Chess Club Championship uh, that was held over the summer. Cracking club, North Bristol, on the up in the Bristol Leagues. Um, the really positive, outgoing approach to social media. Um, and they've been reaping the rewards with uh, recruitment, which is obviously always a, a, a theme that we at the Bristol Chess Times yeah, like to talk about. testing out the other ways to play chess, really. So, what do you mean? Other ways not to play chess? Not in terms of, I'm not, I'm not questioning their, their opening choices or anything. I mean sort of variants of chess, uh, time limits, uh, ah, yes, club yeah, championship. Yeah, yeah. Um, other clubs do do, um, do this as well. I think Bristol's, Bristol's looking good for We're that. Looking We're good. experimenting yeah. uh, in everything apart we, from We love a good, a, good, a good experiment. Yeah, no 960. Yeah. We're not 960 fans, but... Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, if anybody else has any games want to send in, um, let us know. We'll, we'll always look at them and, and give a video. Um, now the obligatory, please subscribe, please share, please tell all your friends um, and tune in next time. Cheers.